painter since the early 90s. I started studying painting, and, and I was working on board um, a birch, birch panel with oil, and um, I, I was enjoying that, but I'd always been sort of attracted to collage work, and, but I'd never, I, I never could figure it out, you know. So there was a workshop at the Murray Art Guild one time, a woman who did uh, worked with paper. She used cut and torn pieces of paper and built compositions, mostly portraits, and she kind of layered it and built it. Well, I attended her workshop and learned this technique that she used mm -hmm. with tracing paper. And so I started experimenting with that on my own, and I never went back to painting. I have uh, only worked with paper since. Um, it seems that the paper sort of gives me the effect that I was trying to achieve with paint, but it just wasn't quite doing it. So, so that's how I got started. And um, you know, each each piece I work on, I learn something new and and perfect something or change something. What I like about the paper is I can I can think out my compositions. I really plan them out, draw them out, and then as I start working, because of the paper and the patterns and the things that I have access to, it allows me to be spontaneous as well. Wow. So it's sort of like I'm real thoughtful and planning, but then I'm spontaneous also. And, uh, you know, sometimes I can even find a scrap piece of paper that was on, it's on the floor, and I'll, I, I, I can spot it and go, oh, that'll work, you know, and it'll work perfectly, even though it was just some remnant of another piece that I had cut. To it, and, I, and, you know, I can look at my paintings that I did in the past, and they have that same... Uh, it's, I still break, broke the composition down into shapes and colors and hues. You know, there. It, it, I guess that's just. I don't know if it's how I learned to draw or or what, but I sort of break things down into shapes and then break those shapes down into colors. And then one gentleman, Mr. Thomas Lee Armstrong who, uh, where I used to live, he was sort of a fixture in his garden along the road that I drove every day. He was out there, oh, digging sweet potatoes or picking corn or picking lima beans. And he, he became one of my favorite subjects in my paintings. And then I've also done several cut paper, cut paper pictures of him as well. Um, he, I enjoyed his overalls, his straw hat, and he, I mean, he was just the nicest man, and he has since um, deceased, but I still go back to some old photos I took of him, and I'm, I'm still doing compositions of him. Miss Imogene, she was our neighbor, and um, she was in her 80s, and um, she was very independent and strong, and uh, she had her old tractor that she would fire up and do her own mowing and bush hogging. And one day I saw her and took some photos of her, and that is, then I did the paper composition of her driving her tractor. And I was just trying to capture her strength and her independence, and, and so that was the reason that I did that picture. Um, I have had several pieces in the uh, exhibits at the Frankfurt at the Capitol, and, uh, you know, that's been very rewarding, and, um, and I like the idea that, that, that I've had, it's been in the uh, Kentucky Treasure, Treasures exhibit. I've had some pieces there, and a couple of years I've had them at the Kentucky Visions at the Capitol. And, um, and then I know more recently I got a few pieces that are on consignment at the Kentucky Artisan Center in Berea. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's nice to have access to that kind of exhibit space that I wouldn't normally have. And you know what I like about my artwork? It's kind of like having a good friend that you can always go to and spend time with. You know, it's 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 nice for me to have something that I'm working on all the time just for that reason. Right now, a lot of my work is focused just on domestic things, and I, I think that is sort of from the transition in my life when I remarried about five years ago, and my husband, I now have a, uh, have a stepson, and uh, I think a lot of the themes in my work 
are influenced by my surroundings and my daily activities, and it's just a lot of family and domestic themes, and um, that's kind of the what I'm the direction I'm going now. Um, they're really just daily activities, uh, little life rituals, um, but you know I, I feel like my work it's not a you know I could call it domestic bliss, which is. You know, that's kind of a, I don't know, some people may say that's an oxymoron, but, you know, I mean it sincerely, and I think, I like to think my work reflects that with the, the colors and the shapes and the things that are in my work. It's sort of a, I, I feel like domestic life, life is worthy of artistic expression, I guess I should say. So that, but again... <laughs> didn't plan for that to happen. It just sort of happened. So as my life moves along, so does my artwork.